Good morning fellow absent traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday, June 4th, 2014. Okay, on the news front, motor vehicle sales and factory orders all both showed a slight increase. Didn't check out any of the other uh, news announcements. For today we have the ADP unemployment report, international trade, productivity and costs all before the market opens and then wrapping it up later in the day with the ISM non-manufacturing index petroleum status report and beige book at two o'clock so when that comes out you may want to take a look at the beige book that can sometimes be pretty interesting all right, uh, let's go over here and take a look at what's going on across the ponds. And uh, here we have, before we get to that, we have the European Central Bank. Uh, I had to read this article to try to figure out what it means when rates are cut below 0%. And it's a bit disturbing. Uh, so the central bankers are really trying to, they're in trouble. So they're trying to make up for it by doing some very unusual things. Okay, over in Asia, uh, pretty much on the bearish side, except for the Nikkei, which is up slightly. And in Europe, we are red across the board. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on over here in the futures. Looks like we may open down a tad. Gold is still before, below 1250 and struggling there. And oil is back up above 103 at 103.35, up 89, 69 cents overnight. Okay, let's take a look at the account. How are we doing with our open positions? And eh, we're just kind of treading water right now. Um, the market is, I think, is trying to establish a direction of some sort and I have a sneaky suspicion as we take a look at some of these indexes that uh, we may be especially with um, the Dow we may be in a double top situation as far as uh, any potential trades from yesterday like Apple Baidu and Tesla they and for uh, setups and 20 deltas on Costco, Russell, and TLT. They didn't look good to me when I looked at them, but I did not have an opportunity to look at 330. So I don't know what they look like then. So this is going to be news to me of a sort. So let's run through the A plus list. First, we'll take a look at Apple. Oh, Apple, we got a hook on. So now we, because this uptrend is so strong, it, it didn't really meet our rules and get down here to at least the 30, preferably the 20. But because it's in such an incredibly strong uptrend, this is alertable for today and this could be a good trade for this week. So let's throw an alert on here. We have to get above this uh, there was actually a high here this morning, so I just want to get a tad above that. And we'll throw an alert in on here. Add or above, that's good. There we go. Alright, next up is Amazon. Uh, we're in Amazon right now with this 20 Delta. And it's playing out nicely for us. I'm going to move this over here just to show kind of where our entry was here. All right, so that one's uh, working out real well. Waiting for another possible entry on that. Boeing, we closed this. And we're waiting for another opportunity here. Baidu. Uh, we got a... Here's a situation that deserves a couple of words here. We have a weak uptrend. We have uh, stochastic was green even though price 
was down from the previous day pretty considerably. And we have the MACD, which did not give us a confirmation. So here's a, a good reason how the how our studies and our indicators and our rules kept us out of what could have been a pretty bad trade. So even though we got our green hook up on a stochastic, we did not get it confirmation on the MACD, nor did we get price movement heading up. We would at least want a green candle here. It can open lower, but at least give us a green candle. But instead we got a red one, kept us out. So we're still looking on this. We'll give it one more day. Although I don't think, looking at overnight, I don't think it's going to work out. All right, Celgene uh, did not come down and give us an entry. Looks like it's uh, it's new uh, bullish trend here. Is looks pretty strong. Flipped over pretty quickly here. So we're just going to wait for it to come down and get or give us another opportunity to get in. Chipotle, same thing. Uh, we're in a pretty strong uptrend, although maybe running out of gas here, so uh, we may it may drive it down here to give us an entry. Even though the 50 MA, the EMA or the SMA is down, the EMA is up very strongly and about to cross. So that's an early entry opportunity. Costco. Okay, Costco is flat. We're looking for a possible uh, iron condor on this. So that is a candidate for today. I'm not going to put an alert on this. I just want to look at it. So it's going in the 20 delta list. All right, Chevron. Uh, we're out of Chevron. We're looking for another opportunity here. Um, doesn't look like it's going to happen. This target is no longer valid because we have a violation here. Um, so we're going to remove it and we'll just keep an eye on uh, what might be going on with this. Oh, there's a bunch of ovals there. Or did I just put those in? <laughs> I don't know. There. It's gone now. I don't want it uh, distracting me. So let's see what happens here. The uh, EMA is uh, on a bearish move here, even though the SMA is still bullish. So it may be an early reversal indicator, which is why we put this trade on here and it worked out for us. Could we do another 20 delta? Well, you know what? We should put a yellow down here. So we're going to go with a look at a 20 delta here. Okay, 20 delta. And that would have been over here. Let's see. I just, I just want to, I'm putting this on the list for today for a 20 delta for a um, bull put. Let's just uh, take a look at it and think about it later on today. Taking a look at the Dow. Okay, here's our uh, double top. So uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on whether it pulls back off of this new high or not. Just an FYI, market's looking pretty weak up here in the stratosphere. Igor never came down, gave us an entry here, very strong uptrend, might be good enough. Although uh, there's a new high here, I don't like entering at new highs. 
So let's just wait on that one. FedEx. All right, that's coming down into our target area, almost in setup territory. F5 networks. Uh, we got a 20 delta, but no confirmation on that. We'll watch it today. We'll give it one more day. All right, how bad does gold look right now? Oh, maybe it found a bottom here. Still not down far enough for me to do um, that naked, <laughs> naked put that I was talking about. Probably won't do. Take a look at uh, Google. Ah, we are in set up territory. And that goes on the list. Uh, we're looking at a bull put here, but I'm going to get a little conflict in signals here because. Um, this may be a continuation here of the downtrend, an aberration moving above the 50 MA, SMA, and it looks like the EMA is going to roll over. So I'm staying away from this for a... Bull put, removing that. And now we're actually going to be looking for something up here. All right, LinkedIn. We just got a little wobble here, but uh, momentum should carry us. We just have a um, first stage or first indicator of an exit here. We'll keep an eye on it for today. See if our MACD gives us a green which would tell us to exit. 3M. Uh, we're in an uptrend waiting for it to come down here and give us an entry. Okay, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Um, new high and since then has been struggling to break through it. We're looking for an entry down here. We may get one soon, the next day or two, but this is a little bit of a sign of weakness up there in the stratosphere. Netflix, same way that uh, basically the Dow looked. Uh, Netflix at uh, I don't think it's a new high here. At least it's not telling me that it is. But it may be coming down and giving us an entry. The 50 SMA just turned green. Priceline. I'm calling this a new uptrend, but a lot looks a lot like Google, doesn't it? I'm going to take this off of here and basically I'm going to put one up here. Uh, we're, we're taking the, it looks like the EMA is bending down and I think, I think the, uh, or the SMA is bending down looks like and the EMA Looks like it may roll over. Take a look at Russell. Okay, um, Russell's coming down. A little bit of a confusing picture here with the two moving averages converging and uh, possibly hitting, bending back down again. So we're going to be looking for a 
an entry up here for a continuation of this downtrend. Just thinking about this. It's not easy thinking out loud and trying to move things along quickly. Sometimes I miss some stuff. I just want to take a look at this. I just having all sorts of bearish alarms going off on this Russell. So that's what I'm going with. It's too bad that this trade did not execute because it would be a big winner right now. Just could not get my price and I wanted to get that um, 5 to 1 risk reward just right on the noggin, right spot on, but it wouldn't give it to me. So that's too bad. Okay, let's take a look at SPX. Uh, definitely in an uptrend. Both moving averages are green. Uh, new high. And it's not breaking through it yet. It might, but not yet. So we're waiting for a move down here into our target area for a bull put. TLT has uh, got me a little nervous right now. I don't understand what this pullback here means. Um, we don't normally use our exit signs for these types of trades, but probably should. So let's see if we get a hook up today and possibly another entry on that. So we're actually in setup mode for 20 delta on TLT. Okay, Tesla. Uh, we're still in the setup mode on Tesla for a 50 delta. Now, um, let me take a look at this. I just looked at the target, drew my eyes to it, but we have uh, both the moving averages converging here and with a downward price trend. So this is going to be moved up here to where it really belongs. And that is for a bear call. We're just waiting for an entry. This had just, it was really choppy here. Thinking maybe, you know, we might have a trend reversal, but quite possibly not. So we're just going to keep an eye on this one because it's sending us some mixed signals at this time. And then last is Visa in a downtrend. I'm moving this up here. Looks like the EMA is going to roll over. And we're going to have a continuation. Looks a lot like Google. And who else was it? It was Netflix, I think it was. Pattern looks pretty much the same. In a downtrend, break above the 50 SMA. EMA breaks above and everything starts hooking back down the way that it should go. Okay, so that straightens everything out. Puts us back in to uh, trading by the rules. Still playing around with this EMA to try to figure out if uh, it's giving us any sort of valuable signals, and I think it is. We may be continuing this downtrend. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day, and happy trading.